Hello everyone! You may have seen those tiny charger boards that can be used to charge the LiPo batteries and output the 5 volt. It's the same board that is being used by the Hades VR controllers. It has USB-C port for charging and solder pads for voltage output and battery. I've decided to make my very own version that could be better integrated into the controllers later on. Today I will show you how you can make a tiny power bank using it. As usual, I've started by recreating whole board using Fusion 360. Of course I made a couple of changes, so it's not entirely the same. With the board pretty much finalized, I've created the Gerber files using JSC PCB CAM file. With the Gerber files ready, I've opened the JSC PCB website, uploaded the Gerber files and waited a couple of seconds. Here you can see the board preview, change the board thickness and select the solder mask color. After choosing all of the options you can click save to cart and place the order. As always, the package arrived very fast. There was absolutely no issues with shipping. Everything came safely packaged in nice blue cardboard box. The board itself of course came safely packaged in an airtight plastic bag, which makes sure that no moisture is getting inside. Just like always, the JSC PCB boards are super high quality and well made. You can easily see all of the traces and even the smallest vias. The solder pads are pre-tinned, which means it's super easy to solder the components. So now let's assemble the board. Just like usual, I will be using a lot of flux to make the soldering easier. And now I can cover all of the pads with solder. It's the best way to solder all of the components when using hotter station. And now the board is pretty much ready for the component transfer. My board has pretty much the same layout as regular TP4056, which means you can simply transfer all of the parts from one board to the other. I will do all of the soldering off screen to avoid any mistakes on my part. As you can see, it's already finished. I found in my drawer this small disposable wave battery, which is pretty ideal for this project. As you can see, it's quite small compared to the other battery and the board. It has the same voltage as the other one, but most likely the capacity is smaller. I've also noticed that this board and the original one only work with USB-C to USB-A cable. I've got no idea why. As you can see, when I plug it in, it's working. I've designed this small plastic case, which will house all of the components. It was a pretty fast sprint at around 10 minutes. The board easily fits inside the plastic frame. It's also designed specifically for this battery. With all of the components in place, I can now solder the battery wires to the dedicated solder pads. With the battery connected, you can already use it. I've decided to make an additional slot for the output voltage cables. The blue light means that the battery is now fully charged. I've connected the module to my ESP32 board with built-in screen and as you can see it's working perfectly fine. I think this module could be easily used for any kind of wearable devices since it's pretty small. Anyway, that's all for today. Thanks for watching everyone and hope to see you in the next video. And as always, huge thanks to my patrons. See you later and goodbye.